I'm Morgan from Pack Hacker, and in this video we're taking a look at the Long Weekend Moro Convertible Backpack, which I've been testing for three weeks. If you find this video helpful, hit subscribe so that we can continue making content that helps you travel smarter. Let's jump in. So before getting started, just to make a disclaimer, this is a pre-production model. It's a sample, so it might differ a little bit depending on the bag that you choose. The exterior is made from a 210D nylon polyester ripstop, and it feels pretty nice to the touch. It feels very durable. Have no concern about this getting caught out in the rain, but it probably won't do very well if it's like an actual like storm. Just something to keep in mind. But aside from that, the material is, like I said, very nice to touch, pretty soft. The zippers all around, the exterior are also made out of our YKK zippers and have this pull tab with this signature black and white aesthetic. There are a lot of them. It seems like all of the pockets have dual zippers, which in theory is nice, but it does have quite a lot of pull tabs which i found to be a little annoying just because i would accidentally zip or unzip the wrong compartment when i was trying to get in there's just this one logo right here so the branding is pretty minimal on this backpack it's a very nice heritage like aesthetic that has the long weekends signature grid like pattern on the top and right here on the water bottle pocket. So taking a look at the harness system, there's one grab handle on the top. It's made out of a 630D high density weave nylon. It feels pretty strong and durable, like it'll last a while. It's not the most comfortable because there's no padding as you can see, but it's still, it'll do in a pinch. The backpack straps themselves don't offer a great amount of padding, but because of the wide design, they feel fairly comfortable and do a decent job distributing the weight so that it's not digging into your shoulders even when fully loaded out. On both straps there are uh, three attachment points as well as a D-ring so that you can attach external stuff to the backpack straps themselves. And then there's also a chest strap with a buckle and this is pretty cool just because it's on our rail system that's fairly easy and adjustable this is also entirely removable too if you'd like to just remove it entirely there's no dedicated waist strap or anything like that and then in terms of comfort having this backpack on i never really had any issues with like ventilation but something to note there is no padding or ventilation system so just keep that in mind so this is what the backpack looks like on my torso with the chest strap feels fairly comfortable it's fairly easy to adjust as well didn't have any issues with that and it has these nice strap keepers to handle any extra slack and then the chest strap on this rail is really nice because it is adjustable to like kind of dial in the specific level of comfort that you like i'm not the biggest user of chest straps but i did really like this one just because it did a really good job of helping keep the straps from like sagging or like slipping or anything like that so this was fairly comfortable and then it sits basically like right here on my back never had any issues um it does kind of protrude a little bit up so had to keep that in mind when like going through a smaller store so I don't knock anything over. So getting into the compartments of the backpack, it has a water bottle or a tripod holder on the side right here. It can fit up to a one liter Nalgene bottle. The water bottle pocket itself isn't my favorite. The application of it just seemed a little hit or miss. It is not very stretchy and so it's very like secured which is nice in theory, but because this bungee is what's used to kind of secure it down, I felt like anything smaller than the one liter Nalgene bottle would definitely have like an issue staying put. And then there's also this buckle right here that you can use to kind of add a little bit more security um, for like water bottles or tripods. But to me, it didn't work very well just because it just kind of adds one more step that you have to take in order to get in or out of this pocket. So just something to keep in mind. On the front, there is a nice pocket right here with the dual zippers, which is nice. Slides fairly easily. 
and you can have them stored on either side or in the middle. And then inside I just have my phone, some memory cards, and a pair of AirPods. Inside this pocket, it has like a nice amount of like give to it, so you can fit a decent amount inside without any issues. And then on the front bottom pocket with these dual zippers as well, there are six attachment points which you can hook on shoes or like another water bottle or anything like that on the external of the bag. And then this one folds down and inside it has two slip pockets and a pen or a stylus pocket as well. There's no elastic to it and it doesn't stretch a whole lot. So have to be careful with what you stick inside of here. And then this pocket extends all the way down, which is nice. It gives you a decent amount of room, basically the entirety of this pocket right here. It doesn't, ex it doesn't have like a lot of like extra material, so it doesn't stretch or extend a whole lot. So it's just something to keep in mind. Then lastly, on the very back right here, there is a frame sheet to help kind of keep the form and keep the lap keep this compartment protected. And this is their dedicated laptop compartment, which they say can fit up to a 16 inch laptop. And the zippers extend basically halfway down as well. Inside, I just have this right here. And as you can see, it's just the same light gray material that the inside of the bag is made out of. I will say that there was a little bit of an issue getting the laptop in here just because it comes straight up to the zipper. And so I was a little concerned with like scratches or scuffs when trying to get it around this corner, but you really have to like shove the laptop in in order to get it to fit properly like that. So I don't know if I would recommend this for a 16 inch laptop, but if you like desperately need it, it can fit. So moving on to the main compartment, it has a traditional backpack opening with dual zippers as well that extend basically halfway down to the uh, water bottle pocket and then the side quick access panel. Then inside I just have a tech pouch and a pair of headphones. And so this kind of shows what space is left with the uh, integratable camera cube. I was able to fit a decent amount in here, maybe like a jacket or some extra stuff. And then here, which is a part of the issue that I had, is this compartment has this front access panel where you can access the camera cube from the front, basically. And I just have some camera gear in here. And so with this camera cube insert, you can make the doors going to these like sleeve right here, basically, so that when you open it, it opens up the entire thing. And then it has a similar functionality here on the side as well. It's not the smoothest zip, unfortunately. And so you can access your camera from the quick access panel as well. All in all, it was not the easiest to get in. It felt very snug and very tight. But once I did finally get it in after basically punching it in, it fits decently. There's a little bit of room here where it kind of like obscures whatever is here at the top of the camera cube, which I'm not a huge fan of. And then these doors don't feel like they line up right. I think that's part of the pre-production sample. So hopefully that'll be fixed when the, with the release of the actual backpack. But this definitely felt like it kept my gear safe and secure. I never had any issues. I think that it works fairly well. It's not the smoothest experience, I will say. But like I mentioned as well, with these pulls here on the front for this pocket, and then these pulls in a similar area, it was really easy to pull or like unzip the wrong compartment. So just something to keep in mind. And then the last thing that I personally had an issue with is the way that this is designed. Having to open it like this means that you put the backpack on its back on the ground, essentially, especially if you're outdoor. And so 
having this like bird's eye view is really nice, but when like you want to put your stuff away and then put this backpack on, this side that goes on your back will have been like on the dirt, for example, and that isn't exactly my favorite orientation. So just something to keep in mind. So there you have it, the long weekend Moro convertible backpack. Thanks for keeping it here at Packhack, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.